welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited today. We're doing something a little bit different, um, but it was really highly requested after last week. I put a TikTok up of me doing some artwork and you guys seem to love it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. There is no real method of doing this. It's just being as creative as you possibly can be. I've been running around crazy today. I was actually in Brisbane this morning shooting some gardening stuff. So I'm just gonna chill out this afternoon, enjoy just the afternoon breeze on the balcony with some artwork. We're gonna do some pour painting. So it's called pouring and you pretty much pour all the paint into a cup, pour it on and just let it do its thing. It's really easy to do. So I hope you guys might be able to get some inspiration out of this. If not, just enjoy a real crazy afternoon. I also got one of these embroidery kits and I'm hoping this little dude on a jean pocket, like on my bum. So yeah, I'm gonna have a go at that as well as this is an arts and crafty kind of videos. This is not a sponsored video, but everything that I purchased, I got from Spotlight. And altogether, I probably spent about $65 for everything. So this is the first piece that I made that unfortunately got wet and ran a little bit here, but it kind of doesn't matter a whole lot. I mean, you guys loved the process of it. It's really fun actually to do because it's quite messy, but I added some like gold leaf details, some glitter in there. I'm going to this time make like a pinky nude kind of toned one and I'm planning to put it up here next to the TV. On one side we've got like this macrame and it's got like these kind of blush tones through it and some little neutral tones. So I'm hoping that I can put this on this side and it will complement the area really nicely. Um, we'll see. So firstly let's get changed in something a little bit more paint appropriate. We're going to gather all our little ingredients. I feel like I'm baking a cake when I say ingredients. But here we go. Firstly we need a canvas, a paint pour set. So this one's a pre-mix that's got the resin included. An acrylic paint. I like to grab an extra white paint just to break up the colours a bit. A bit of plastic tablecloth which you can get from Kmart because it's going to get messy. Something to stand your canvas up on and also a plastic cup which is where the paint will be going into to do the pour. So like I mentioned before, there is no real technique with pouring. You can put as much colour or as less colour as in as you like, but the main goal that I like to achieve on my first pour is trying to cover as much canvas as possible. You can put this first swipe, splutter, whatever you call it, in any direction you like, but I firstly like to go in the diagonal direction and move my canvas around to try and cover as much of the canvas as possible. <laughs> Once you're happy with your first pour, you can keep adding more colors, be as creative as you can, and using techniques like move the canvas around and also blowing with a straw can help move the paint into the empty spaces. I then also sometimes use my fingers to fill in the gaps because I'm gonna end up moving the paint around anyways. So it doesn't matter too much about any finger marks because um, I'm gonna go over this again.
with majority of the painting I start putting little details in. I love to add gold leaf details in, especially around the darker accents, just to give the painting a little bit more body to it. I also like to dip in with a paintbrush to blend out any pieces or to cover parts that you can still see the canvas. I didn't even read what I actually picked up and the method that is used for this type of patchwork is not what I had in mind um, so instead I'm gonna do my own kind of patchwork for this one it also didn't come with a needle so I'm just gonna use a regular needle and hope for the best still don't know what I'm doing at all confused firstly I've never done patchwork before I've seen my grandma do it a few times so I just guesstimated how to put the ring thingamajiggy on. I don't even know what it's called. That's how much I know about this. But I think I figured it out and I was pretty confident at this stage. In reality, I did not know what I was doing. So I just separated all my strings into the colors. One thing I did know how to do was thread a needle and tie a knot. So here's me doing that. I then try to figure out exactly where I needed each color and dove right in. I should be the last to know we're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know.
it semi fixed the problem um i kind of don't mind it it gives it more of like a rustic-y kind of look instead of it's pretty and perfect but um here's my cacti she's a little bit rough on the edges but we still love her so i just like cut as close as i could to the actual patchwork and then use like a little fraying tool to just fray it so it's got a more of a spiky effect as we would say <laughs> um i'm gonna try these on to see what they look like And just in time because I think my painting is actually dry now, so let's go check it out. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am holy? Quick outfit change and a child change. <laughs> We're gonna go surprise a TikTok fan for their birthday today. It's a little outfit. We're going like vintage vibes. We're both kind of matching, like always. Um, Every time. Sports girl, that's all I know. Don't know where this is from, but it's cute. Cotton on, cotton on. We made like this little treat box for her as well. It's just got some like jewelry, scrunchies, lipstick, lollies, some cute little pencils. There's a pair of sunnies down there. So we'll give her that. Jewel on, ready? Oh, I can't see. <laughs> your lips are just touching your nose. That's all I can yeah. see. <laughs> Didn't have any idea? No. Not, Not at all. <laughs> Anyways guys, we're going to finish off my bathroom because my house turns into this crazy, absolute menace as soon as everyone starts getting home. Um, so it is very, very loud out there and I could not even try and film anything because Jenna was singing her ABCs, Lily was trying to make a TikTok and Mum was watching the news. Let me know in the comments if you like these kind of videos, more arty, crafty, chill out kind of vibe or if there's anything else you want me to do. I soon will have some really exciting news to announce. I'm waiting for the all go to do it. I just can't say anything just yet. Um, I have to wait to be told I'm allowed to. So I can't wait to announce that with you because it will be a really great vlogging opportunity and TikTok opportunity and Instagram opportunity. Check the socials out if you don't hear it from here first. I'm thinking next week I might do something a little bit more crazy, fun, mukbang slash assumption video and see how that goes. But apart from that, I hope you have the most beautiful week. Love you all long time. And thank you so much for the support. I love you bees all so much. I honestly would not be here without you. Love you.